the percentage of intelligence that is not human is increasing. And eventually, we will represent a very small percentage of intelligence. I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. Usually it'll be something, some new technology that will cause damage or death. There will be an outcry. There will be an investigation. Years will pass. There will be some sort of insight committee. There will be rulemaking. Then there will be oversight, eventually regulations. This all takes many years. This is the normal course of things. This time frame is not relevant to AI. It can't take 10 years from the point at which it's dangerous. It's too late. Your phone is already an extension of you. You're already a cyborg. You don't even, well, most people don't realize they are already a cyborg. It, that phone is an extension of yourself. It's just that the, the data rate, the rate at which of the communication rate between you and the cybernetic extension of yourself that is your phone and computer is slow. It's very slow. And, and that, that is like a tiny straw of, of, of information flow between your biological self and your digital self. You will be at some point indistinguishable from reality. If you assume any rate of improvement at all, then games will be indistinguishable from reality. Or civilization will end. One of those two things will occur. The universe as we know it will dissipate into a fine mist of cold nothingness eventually. In the future we'll pay for it. It's just not paid for now. I don't think, I don't think you'd necessarily want to be me. It's very hard to turn it off. It's like a never-ending explosion. I think when I was, I don't know, five or six or something, I thought I was insane. It was just strange. It was like, hmm, I'm strange. How many things can you buy that you really love, that really give you joy? So rare, so rare. I wish there were more things. That's what we try to do, just make things that somebody loves. Like what are the set of things that can be done to make the future better? Like, you know, like so, I think that a future where we are a spacefaring civilization and out there among the stars, this is very exciting. This makes me look forward to the future. This makes me want that future. You know, the things, there need to be things that make you look forward to waking up in the morning. You wake up in the morning, you look forward to the day, forward to the future. In a future where we are a spacefaring civilization and out there among the stars, I think that's very exciting. That is a thing we want. Whereas if, if you knew we would not be a spacefaring civilization but forever confined to Earth, this would not be a good future. That would be very sad. If there are two futures, and one future is we're out there among the stars, and the things we read about and see in science fiction movies, the good ones, are true. We have these starships, and we're... We're going to see what other planets are like, and... We're a multi-planet species, and the scope and scale of consciousness is expanded across many civilizations, and many planets, and many star systems. This is a great future. This is a wonderful thing to me, and that's what we should strive for. Destroying Elon Musk's fair theories as true prophet and speaking wisdom into the ears of the elite. I want to begin this lesson by giving all the praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakaha Kadash, and the Bahana to the Evelyn Apostle of the Mason who do well. A peace, a blessing, and salutation to you, Akiam, who are pushing these truths to the four winds of the heaven. 
a bee on the forefront of this spirit war to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise on it again as in the days of old. So a through this a short clip uh, you can get a glimpse on how the devil's mind work. You see. And uh, in the devil's mind you see it is a rush hour right now. Uh, this uh, wicked elite of uh, the nation of Isa Widom, they are fighting against time because time is not on their side. Uh, they see everything uh, is coming to a standstill. You see. And uh, that's why they tell you uh, during this pandemic, you see, where we are going to the fourth industrial revolution. They have a very slim chance to introduce their enterprises. They have a very slim and a vulnerable chance to introduce their enterprises. One mistake and they will lose everything. That's why every move in which ESA is making is a very calculated move. Everything you see is a created reality. We are living in a simulated world. We are living in a simulated world, the world in which the wicked elite of the nation of Isa Widom they create for us. But through the, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem we are able to see uh, through that darkness. You see. And uh, one among uh, the things in which uh, the elite want to convey to you through uh, their front men, like Yon Moshkis, they want to make you believe that it will come a point where the whole universe will dissipate and it will come to a nothingness through the development of what we call artificial intelligence. To put it simple, that machine will take over the world and uh, we won't have the chance to explore the universe. You see, but if we go, you see, hand in hand you see AI and make AI work for us and we can you see expand our level of consciousness and as the, the devil as we call it is a three hand of the devil you see or we call him three Z you see uh, what he means by that is uh, when we are able to uh, link a uh, human with machine we can walk hand in hand uh, with machine to expand our level of consciousness and eventually we'll be able to explore the universe uh, to be able to explore a might speech to be able to explore the cosmology to be able to explore and read through different civilization in which we know that that is not true that's why i started with uh, destroying even most theater through prophecy and the teaching the elite the wisdom the true wisdom understanding man the, the, the first thing is you Edomite, uh, you, you who call yourself white people, uh, you are not going to uh, uh, explore the universe. The universe was made for the uh, Israelite man, the elect of the nation of Israel, man. You see, and uh, we will have dominion uh, into this different planet. We will have dominion into this different galaxy. We have dominion into this different stars. And the Elon Musk was going into, as uh, they will be able to dwell among stars, what you see in science fiction will actually happen in real life if humanity is willing to emerge with machines. That's what he really mean. You see, in which is that going to happen. And uh, the, the Israelite man is going to dwell among the stars of heaven. That's why we are also called the star of heaven. The princess of the power, and another thing, even Moscow was speaking easy. It will come to a point where a, a, a humanity will come to nothingness. The only race of people prophesizing the Bible which will come to nothingness is you, Edomite man. Go and read the book of Obadiah 1 and 18. Read that and pond on that man. We say so, amen. Through the spirit of Yahweh, Hashem Yashai. Let me open the first Corinthians 2 and uh, 
or three, I'll start at verse four, and I will read uh, on down. It says, "And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing word of man's wisdom, like how in you know, mosque men uh, we call them um, the prophet on the left hand side. He's telling you how the future will look like." A true enticing words. He's telling you about past civilization in which we will explore if we merge a human with a machine. In which is that ain't in the scripture and that is not the truth. So he is enticing you with his wisdom. But in the demonstration of the spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men. You see, you are looking forward to this future. You don't might going to Mars. You are looking forward to Isa Widom Enterprises actually having blind sea, having paraplegic walk, matching matching human with machine, having cyborg, having bionic soldiers, man, being able to treat different eye diseases through a, a nanobot, man, nanotechnology. It says, but in the power of the Messiah, how bait we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world. You see, you are looking forward to where a machine will take over the world. And what you see in Hollywood, like in, I, I don't remember what brother, he, he said that Hollywood is Isa Widom I. What he show you in Hollywood is actually what he want to accomplish. But we know that it will come to nothing. Nor of the princes of this world that came to nothing, to naught. See? So, amen. Through the spirit of Yahweh, Hashem, Yashai, man, we are speaking the oracle of the Messiah. We are the true messenger of the Messiah, man. And we are here to tell you what the future look like, man. And the wisdom of this world, man, the wisdom of the princes of this world, like here on Moshki, in which they have a very high respect. The words they are speaking are like a law in this society. And we are here to tell you that that fantasy will come to naught. Verse 7, but we speak the wisdom of the Messiah in a mystery. That's why this saying was made for a small sanctuary. The wisdom of Yahweh Hashem Yashai was made to a small sanctuary. It is said even a hidden wisdom uh, which God ordained before the world unto our future, which none of the prince of this world knew. So that's why your Moshe was telling you if he doesn't know about the future, it will make him sad. And actually he doesn't know about the future. And uh, you see all of this, all of this richy, in this society, you, you might see them happy, but they are not happy because they know their world is coming to an end. And they cannot remove their neck out of that. See, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. See? So, let me go. And, uh, let me see. Uh -huh. This is a book of Micah 26. It says, Therefore, that says the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yashai, behold, against this family do I devise an evil. What family? May you do, mighty man, from which you shall not remove your neck. The reality you want to learn from, because uh, you better believe this elite, this banking family, this rich people from the nation of Israel, widom, they know about prophecy. They know that they are going to serve and after that, they will be exterminated. You see? So they wanna cheat prophecy through their new world order. Merging human with machine because if you match human you merge human with machine, all the people here on the earth, they don't want to be the most shy again. But the Lord he, he tell you through prophecy he going he is going to offset that 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 that, that wicked plan and we'll get that in, in, a, in a few minutes. It is saying neither shall he go how to for this time with evil. In that day shall you want to take up a parable against you and lament with a doleful lamentation. That's going to the, the elect. We are taking a parable against his widow. Okay. And they say we be utterly spoiled. He has changed the portion of my people. As they, as they Israel, how has he removed it from me, turning away the he has divided our field. That's his widow, man. You see, and uh, as I was telling you, that is a plan of the wicked of the nation of which our widow will come to now. Let me see. 
Mm-hmm. Let me see. A book of Psalm 2. A book of Psalm 2 and it says, Why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. The king of the earth set himself and the ruler take counsel together against the Moshiach, Yahabah Hashem Yashai, and against his anointed thing. Let us break their band asunder and cast away their cord from us. That's going to prophecy, man. They want to cheat the prophecy through their enterprises through the, 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 the AI technology, through the beast system. He is, he, he is that cities in the heaven shall laugh, and the Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he, shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my whole he of Zion. I will declare the decree, the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yashem, has said unto me, though at my son this day I have begotten thee. So the, this is about the decree of the Moshiach, man. The intent, you see, the intent, you see, the intent, you see, the intent of the Messiah, man. See, this is the book of Daniel 4 and 7. It says this matters by the key of the watchers, the angels, man, and who walk through the mind of this different wicked elite. They actually think that they want to set prophecy, but they are working for the Messiah because this is the Messiah's movement. The same technology they are working through, they are working to offset prophecy, it will return against them, man. And, and, and the same prophet, the same technology they are working to this different space force and, and whatever, is that is only for one reason that the, the Hawashai can, 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 can show forth his power and take his kingdom and through force. It's saying as a demand by the word of the Holy One to the intent that the living may know that the most shall rules in the kingdom of men and give us it to whosoever he will and set us up over the bases of men. So, amen. Esau, Edom enterprises is the Moshiach's enterprises, man. You see, so as uh, this is teaching you a uh, wisdom, true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Uh, you, 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 starting with you, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and uh, you, weekly rich over there, man. Uh, recently, to the, to, the, to, the, to the wisdom of the Moshiach, man, in Job 5 and 12, we say, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that the hand cannot perform their enterprises. So, hey, amen, it will come in a point where the Lord will disappoint your, your devices, man. So, hey, hey amen, you Easter, you need to ponder on, 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 on the book of Obadiah, which it will come to pass very soon, as Onimoshiko was saying that humanity will come to nothingness. He was really talking about you, Edomite, because when this Edomite do their speeches, this different speech and presentation about humanity coming to now, they are not talking about you, Israelite, man. They are talking about themselves, man. You see? So, amen. This is your Badawa 118. You see? You see? He said, the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a frame. And the house of Esau was stable. The house of Esau is talking about the white paper, man. And they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord God, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh have spoken it. So we need to ponder on that, Yobadiah 1 in 18. See, so, which is this, I will say, Shalom. I hope you brothers were edified. On to the next.